In this video, I'll go over my exact three-step process for finding 100x altcoins. You don't have to buy any fancy tools that have a monthly fee. Just spend 10 minutes watching this because I promise you, there's nothing else like this on YouTube. In fact, this video could be the most important 10 minutes that determines whether or not you actually get rich in 2024. I'm going to keep it straight to the point. And at the end of the video, a method for people who work a full-time job and don't have a lot of free times to research things. Anyone can do this, but if you want to be a sheep who blindly follows YouTubers every word and relies on them to determine their destiny, then this video is not for you. And I suggest that you stop watching now. But if you do decide to follow this process, your chances of turning 1k into 100k increases substantially. Okay, this is step one of three. You can't neglect this. Think about every project you bought, it's because someone gave you information. Whether it was an influencer on Twitter or YouTube, or maybe a friend, you had to gain the idea from someone. You then analyzed that information in your brain or you did some research, and then you ultimately decided to buy that token. To find 100x gems, you need high quality information. The number one thing most people who watch crypto YouTube don't understand is YouTube is by far the worst place for information. YouTubers are heavily incentivized to talk about what's trending right now and you don't get rich by buying what's trending. Look at how many YouTubers suddenly just started making videos on Bunk. It also takes time for them to script videos, film them, edit them, do all the other stuff like keywords, title thumbnails. In crypto you have to be fast and YouTube is just too slow. This is how I envision information flow in crypto. YouTube is right at the bottom and then you've got Twitter. Twitter is different because information flows faster there since you can just instantly push a tweet. This is the best way to find high alpha accounts on CT. First you go to Dexcreener and you find a good token that's recently pumped and done really well. And then you want to look at the day ranges where the token price was kind of flat and before it had really pumped. So for Mubi over here, we can see that I launched on the 14th of November and based on this chart, it was flat until about the 1st of December. So what we can do now is we can go on Twitter, we can type in Mubi on our search bar and then we can click on these three dots over here, click on more. Then we go to advanced search, we type in the ticker over here and we want to filter if the people who are talking about this when the price was still low. We're not interested in the people who are talking about it now after it's already pumped. So what we can do is enter this date range and now we can scroll through all the accounts that were early to Mubi and calling it as a gem before it popped off. So for example, this account here, we can add it to a list. I might put him in tier three and then I'll track future alpha that he gives and decide whether or not he deserves to move up, move up in tiers. And as you keep building this, the people who are in tier one, you pay the most attention to. The risks with this is as people grow, their motives change, they become blinded by greed and try to scam people for exit liquidity. Secondly, some of these guys tweet 10 coins a day, so it's obvious that eventually they'll be able to land a winner. That's why once you get them in the list, you need to actively study their calls. As you rinse and repeat this, you are essentially purifying and filtering your network for the best people on crypto Twitter. And in the resources section of my Discord, I'm going to post links to high alpha accounts I found during my own studies. You need to be willing to go the extra mile to succeed. Spend a few minutes a day thinking deeply about the people you follow right now on YouTube and Twitter. Analyze their calls, analyze what they say, question their incentives. Do they sound like they're desperately trying to get you to buy a coin? You can also apply this with YouTube, but based on my experience, the alpha on YouTube is much harder to find. Luckily for you, you've already found one channel, so you are able to do it. You just have to keep searching for more. You also have to realize that most people are not actually scrutinizing the people they follow. So if you do it, you have an edge over 99% of retail. What I'm trying to get you to understand is you need to move away from this bottom tier and upgrade to these higher tiers. You can do that on Twitter and YouTube by finding the best people, just like I've showed you. But one of the best sources of alpha in my experience is networking groups like the one I'm building. Mine is free right now. People in there are less incentivized to use you as exit liquidity and there's a lot more focused work taking place. This is an example of the calls made in my community over the last few weeks. And this is evidence that what I'm planning with this channel and with that Discord server actually works. But the ultimate source of information is smart wallet tracking. You don't have to wait for anyone's tweets, anyone's videos. You build a collection and you gain your source of low cap oil coins from there. I'm actually developing a bot that streams smart wallet trades directly to my Discord server. As I said earlier, 
if you're thinking that you don't have the time to do all of this, that's fine. I have another solution for you at the end, so make sure you stick around for that. So to recap, to find the 100 x altcoins, your first goal is to filter the information you get. Call out all the BS on YouTube and Twitter and really search deeply for those accounts that are, that are posting alpha. Once you've got a decent source of information coming in, for example, high alpha Twitter accounts or trustworthy YouTubers recommending good low cap projects, you need a way to sort and analyze all the information and potential altcoins you come across. I've built this infrastructure notion page for the people in my Discord. Make sure you use it because most people in crypto do not have anything like this and it's a huge edge. But let me quickly explain to you my process for researching 100x altcoins using what I've got over here. So firstly what I'll do is I'll utilize my information sources. For example, people in my server, smart wallets, X accounts, and then I'll scan the projects quickly to decide if they're worth digging deeper. Second, I'll analyze them in the research bank. This is one of my talents I have. I can instantly tell when a project is good or not. I've already included the research template in here. Things you need to look for when researching a project. And third, I've got the journal over here, which is where I think about how I'm going to enter and plan my entries with my investment strategy. I also have a place to jot down ideas that I get. I've had ideas this year that I've forgotten about and that would have made me at least half a million if I had acted on them. But I believe this right here is what will differentiate my channel from everything else. I'm a real analyst that deeply studies the markets. The edge that I can provide to my people will be tremendous and compound over time. Especially since I'm full time in this 18 hours a day, this channel is going to be one of the most valuable on YouTube, especially when I start streaming. So make sure you subscribe. Also, don't be that person who's not bothering to do any of this, doesn't take any notes. If you want to make a lot of money and you're serious about crypto, you're going to have to put in some work. Don't be put off or overwhelmed by this. Looking at my audience demographic, I'm assuming you have a job and you have very little free time. In a couple of minutes, I'll tell you what to do that doesn't require you to maintain all of this. And in terms of how to actually research a project, looking at a white paper, etc. I'll tell you this much. Most people in crypto can't observe a project holistically. They over fixate on one to two key things. So really what you're looking for when you're viewing a project is belief. What's that one thing that's going to make people believe in this coin? The idea that you need to look at product market fit, stats, data, understanding the technology is all BS. Especially when it comes to low caps, which is where you find those 100 X's. Remember you're competing against other humans. If you can predict how they think, you're going to win. And what you're really building when you go through this process is pattern recognition inside your brain. For me, in most cases, it's my subconscious mind and my gut feeling that tells me what to do with the project. That's how I was able to call a tier with conviction at $4 when everyone else was calling it a VC scam. So now you've covered filtering your information source, analyzing it well, keeping track of it. We need to discuss step three, which is action. There's no point in having access to the best gem hunters, being smart with your research if you don't action your work. And the only real solution to this is just conviction and self-belief, but that will come with time and experience. You also need to consider sizing, risk and reward, and understand Kelly criterion. I'm going to dedicate a separate video entirely on investment strategy and how to size and manage your bets in crypto. But I assure you of one thing, make any attempt at this and you're already being most people in crypto. The competition is just that easy. I also want to say at this point, if you expected some fancy tools, that flash 100x signals, they simply just don't exist. Anyone floating the idea is at best misleading you. The supporting tools that aid my research, if you want to see what those are, let me know in the comments. I might make a video dedicated to tools. But it's super easy for me to just show you fancy bots that cost you money, show you websites to give you the illusion of alpha. But it's like most things in reality, it's the boring, hard, grindy stuff that actually gets the results. Everything else is just fluff designed to trick you. If you take anything from this video, let it be this next statement. I can't understate how important it is. It's all about your network in crypto. Who you allow to influence your mind determines how much money you make. That's why for the people who only have one to two hours of free time a day and they're using it to watch crypto YouTube, you need to make sure you're spending that time listening to the right people. That's your only responsibility. Your future depends entirely upon that. Because of your time constraints, you have to give people trust in exchange. You just need to make sure you're giving that trust out to the right people because it really is a valuable commodity. 
that people will try and take advantage of. So in conclusion, finding 100x gems isn't hard. You need a strategy and a plan and a network. All of that is given to you in the Discord server. It's up to you to utilize it and the great people in there. You still have the opportunity to get in early. There's 208 spots left for the under 1k role. The other day around 200 people joined, so it's probably going to be gone very soon. And I really will get this community at some point because it's growing too big. I've made 14 videos and my channel is one of the fastest growing on YouTube right now. But let me know if you found this video useful. I know it's not the most exciting of videos, but it's the truth and the reality you need if you want to play this support market well.